Rita, now that I have some basic information about your health, I want to talk to you about managing your pain while you're here in the hospital. These next series of questions I ask you, your answer will be very important in helping me develop a plan to help manage your pain. Okay. So, how would you rate your current pain level right now on a scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being not that much pain and 10 being the worst pain you've ever had? It's about a 3, but I'm nervous, and that sometimes gives me a stomach ache. I see. Have you always had this type of pain with this condition? Well, it goes up and down. It's not too bad until after I eat, and then it can really get bad, maybe a five or six. But it's not hurting too bad just now. After surgery, you will be experiencing a significant amount of pain. We'll be offering you pain medication to help you manage that. How do you feel about that? That stuff makes me sick at my stomach and <laughs> just out of it. But mom, you're going to need more than Tylenol after your procedure. I don't want you to be in any pain. I do want to emphasize to you both that you are going to be experiencing some pain after the surgery. And it's actually going to get worse before it gets better. So when you feel pain, how do you express it? Do you tell someone? Do you just keep it to yourself? Or do you ask for help? No, she never complains. Okay. That's what I'm worried about. She'll just suffer in silence and not let anyone even bother to get her a pillow. I'm usually fine. Don't you worry about me, Michael. Well, while you're here, we really need for you to let us know whenever you're suffering from pain. We'll be asking you a series of questions in regards to your pain. We want you to be as honest as possible with us. What I need for you to do is let me know if you're going to be able to let us know when you're experiencing any type of pain. Yes, I'll do my best.